the weekly driver often reviews new cars, but every once in a while we get a, we see a wonderful vintage car, and we found one today in McKinley Park. We found its owner, Tom Davenport, and we're here to talk to Tom about his 1964 Corvair, which is now 50 years old. In fact, this was um, my aunt's car, my mother's aunt, and uh, I grew up watching her drive it. This was her daily driver, believe it or not, and she drove it for about 25 years. She was actually the second owner, thusly I'm the third owner, and um, she got to a point where she was ready to give it up finally, reluctantly, mm -hmm. and I was the lucky buyer. So uh, I purchased this car about three years ago. Um, it was in almost the condition that you see it right now. Yes. And uh, probably about the third day of owning it, uh, I was rear-ended in a parking lot. <laughs> so, um, I sought out a, uh, a body shop that works on classic cars. Mm -hmm. They did some work on it. Of course, they talked me into doing some additional work. Uh, we actually replaced the, um, the rag top and uh, did a few other minor things, put some new tires on it. But basically, the condition that it's in is the condition that it's been in for probably the last 20-something years. I know it had a paint job at one point. Mm -hmm. And that's about the history of the car, other than the, um, obviously, the famous history of the Corvair sure. itself. Ton, tons of comments. Yeah. I mean, well, first off, it's adorable. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, it really is. And that's kind of the intrigue of the car is that it really, you know, the Corvair was a European style car yes. produced by Chevrolet, obviously. And uh, yeah, as I alluded to, the history of the car, um, it was uh, basically put put out of, uh, out of production by Ralph Nader, Ralph as we Nader. know. Uh, kind of a fun story. But uh, yeah, when I'm out and about, the most common thing that I hear uh, about this car is that everybody's mother owned one, or everybody's grandmother owned yeah. one, or everybody's father owned one, yes. which to me seems very unlikely because you know it was only in production, I think, from 62 to 69, if yes. I am correct. So it really is not, you know, it was, it was not a super popular car, but um, amongst enthusiasts, you know, people just love the Corvair. You mentioned Ralph Nader, and he had that mm -hmm. famous and infamous book, Unsafe Any Speed. Unsafe Any um, Speed. When, when you, you have a wife and children, when you bought mm -hmm. the car and started using it, is it, was there any concerns because of that stigma, or do you find it? It's perfectly fine. I'm assuming. I, I think it's perfectly fine, and I think that uh, it was, you know, eventually uh, Jim was vindicated, uh, and it, it was proven to be safe. And yes. I think the tests that he based the book on were uh, were faulty ultimately. Yes. Um, I never had any concerns. The one concern I did have um, was that it didn't have seat belts. Yes. And uh, I just, you know, I know it's a vintage thing, but I just don't feel comfortable driving a car without <laughs> no. some sort of a belt. So yes. even though it's just a little lap belt, I did have uh, seat belts installed in the car. Yes. But otherwise, I feel pretty safe driving it. I take it easy on the freeway. I try not to go above 65 miles an hour. Yeah. Uh, the handling gets a little funky, but yeah, yeah other than that, uh, I feel perfectly safe in this vehicle. waves and all kinds of things. I'm yeah, sure. yeah, absolutely. I mean, you just don't see too many of these vehicles out there. And uh, yeah, just people light up when they see it, uh, whether they're Corvair fans or not. Transmission? It's actually a four-speed four speed manual. Four speed manual. Uh -huh. And uh, I guess one thing that we should mention about the Corvair, uh, this is kind of a fun thing because, uh, you know, I've I had to have it towed, for example, or um, uh, I had to have it jumped. And the tow truck driver got there and uh, he was looking for the engine in yes. the front of the car <laughs> and uh, the Corvair for people who don't know a is rear a rear engine car it's yeah. air, -cooled, air cooled and uh, it's an another one of the things that just kind of adds to the um, allure of the Corvair yeah, yeah. yeah. how does it drive um, uh, smoothly a little rough ride you go over bumps it, uh, it drives really well the the shifting is a little uh, a little funky yes. so I've had friends come over and drive it a lot of people have a hard time driving it mm -hmm. but once you get used to it it's actually a very easy car to drive Sometimes when you have a vintage car, people will put a sticker on your car and note that they want to buy the car. Has that happened to you with it, your wonderful Corvair? It actually has not happened to me because this car, for the most part, is kept in a garage. Yes. I take it out really just a few times a year. Mm -hmm. um, Fourth of July is obviously right around the corner, yes, so yes. I'll have it out on Fourth of July and we'll cruise around town most of the day. Um, but generally, yeah, I mean, I get a lot of comments. People would love to buy it. Yes. Uh, it's definitely not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't had anybody leave a note on the car. Gotcha. Yeah.